Okay, where's the treasure? Uh, has your day been crazy? lost my ability to do the sonic attack because that was pretty powerful. Can I have Donald show up now please? There he is. Come to me, Donald. Thank you. Uh, I wasn't aware of that crazy, no. So we're on the 13th floor, which I believe is the final floor of the castle which is why we're doing bonus stream because i feel like we're tantalizingly close to the end here so bonus stream is in the hope that we may finish sora's side of the story tonight depending on how much there is at the end of this floor that and the fact that the prospect of playing warzone again tonight and getting absolutely wrecked like i did last night wasn't very appealing Our team got absolutely melted last night. Ridiculous. <laughs> so, uh, I'm leveling up a lot here, which is good. Soon I've got no like healing cards in this deck. I am doing pretty darn well, I think. Yeah. Ha. 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 Ha
Mother Goofy, please. Pushing buttons, I guess. Back off. Yeah. Courage. Power. Gumbo is too slow. I am when I say too slow, I mean ridiculously slow. What's in the treasure box? Blizzard. This is a rubbish treasure, but we'll take it. Dash against area one is rubbish. Through the door we go. This time we are going to do what? Heartless with strong cards, maybe? Yeah, I mean, this final level, I expect them to be quite long. But they are relentless as well. You have quite a lot of fights in each room. So they are quite relentless. Story time. You have some nerve to show your treasonous face around here. Some nerve indeed. Treasonous? I don't know what you could possibly be talking about. Why let Namine go? If it weren't for your needless meddling, we could have turned the Keyblade Master to come and serve us. Oh, right, your big plan. You use Namine to rewrite Sora's memory piece by little piece, and he turns into her total puppet. Then, using Namine and Sora together, 
You and Larxene overthrow the organization. Am I right? I would say that you are the traitor, Marluxia. Since when were you suspicious of us? Do either one of us have the heart to believe anyone? Hm. So you only eliminated Vexen to obtain proof of our plan? That I didn't want to do. But it was your order. Oh. Remember the order. You must eliminate the traitor. I always follow orders, Marluxia. Well, they're gonna have like a little battle off amongst themselves. Interesting. All right, where are we? We are tantalizingly close to the story room. They've got these, so this room is like they've got stronger cards, but I don't think it will affect us too much because we're just spamming our slights. Yeah, yeah. Put that goofy card up. This will kill them all. Hey, he's back in my Tootsie Roll. Mr. Squeaky's back. I say, he's back in my Tootsie Roll. <laughs> yeah, he just gotta, he just gotta swing by and grab it. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm on my way. Totally worth the trip for a Tootsie Roll. I may, I'm, well, I might as well have a coffee while I'm there, you know, make, make the most of it. Uh, which, which one of 10,000 versions of coffee would you like? As long as it's black, I don't really care. Well, that still leaves us down to about 100,000 different variations. Like, you know, most places in the world have Tons of whether you want Arabica or I'm not, really, I'm not really a I'm not really a coffee connoisseur to be fair. As long as it like I say, I'm more of a as long as it's wet, warm, yeah. I'll drink it. So Yeah, actually I I drank it in my I started drinking it in my late twenties to early thirties and then but I think it was because I was on the road a lot. And yeah. and I used to smoke back then, like all day. And and I, and I, I would stop at Seven Eleven at certain places on my routes and uh, get a coffee and with some uh, almond. Uh, no, what is it? I can't remember. It was whatever flavor it was, I used to I used to love and. Enjoy that for a while, then yeah, just kind of got it got off the kick. Yeah, yeah. I've cut, I have cut back like massively on the amount of coffee I drink recently. Uh, been wanting to do it for a while, but if I'm like I have a day where I'm busy and I don't get a chance to drink coffee, I was like starting to get headaches and stuff from the withdrawal. Yeah, uh, so I mean, a while ago I changed from. I didn't like cut down the, the amount of cups I was drinking a day initially. I just cut down the amount of um, coffee I was putting in the cup. But now I'm sort of down to I think about like, two cup, two or three cups a day now. So, I mean that's that's not terrible. I know some people some people will go through like, two pots of coffee a day. It's like, yeah. hey, you gotta you, that that's not good. Like a couple cups is they say you know. 
it's not bad and it's actually it can be somewhat good for you in certain ways so yeah if you're only drinking two or three throughout the whole day that's not terribly bad at all based on my understanding anyway yeah i've, I've kind of cut out all caffeine for the most part except for whatever is naturally occurring in, in some yeah. things but you know uh, you know with having afib kind of have to watch stuff like that yeah i can't imagine it's uh, particularly good for AFib. nah but i, I can't drink like uh say you know i'll drink a a, a few bottles of some teas and things yeah. like that that have caffeine at them though so if i make my own tea i make decaffeinated or out or like if i order it somewhere which normally i'll just get i don't know whatever like if I, i'll get an unsweet tea but they don't have decaf out so nothing i can do about it so i just get a small one yeah. But yeah, unless I'm, unless I'm sad to water and brus brewskis and Coke, like a caffeine free Coke if I'm not feeling well. Or, or that or ginger ale. Yeah, ginger ale is like pretty good for when you're not feeling very well. Yeah, a, especially when you got like a bit of a dicky tummy or something. Exactly, same same with cake. Um, it's just you know lower on sugar and uh, champagne bubbles work work well. Just always, you know, at least for a lot of people. But um, yeah, ginger ale is naturally decaffeinated, so just like uh, Sprite Seven Up and some others don't have caffeine. Yeah. But yeah, I can I can dig a sprite sometimes, like when I'm sick as well. Sprite or seven up either way. But yeah, I definitely try to keep that excess caffeine out of my out of my yeah, diet. Yeah, for sure. Hey, health, come back. I need you. Who needs health? That's crazy talk. Yeah. Just don't get hurt. I mean, duh. Let's be fair. I didn't. I didn't put any. Um, I haven't put any healing in my build, and I haven't managed to die yet. So, I must be doing something right. That's that's quite good. Just don't get hurt. I mean, yeah, keep it simple. Don't get hurt. Makes the game a whole lot easier to win when you don't get hurt. God mode incoming. This move is God mode, seriously. Ridiculous. Oh, he just got hurt. Shame on you. That move. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that's pretty huge. <laughs> just, to, just, just to eradicate pretty much all the enemies around you or reduce them to very low health. I mean... Yeah, it's like a massive electrical magic tornado fall. <laughs> Something like that. Just put a, put a bunch of hyphens in between all those words. Ah, oh, it's more fun if you don't. Sure, it makes it better to read. fights are long I mean even like these these basic enemies have got multiple health bars now so that's kind of like a, I think that's a big indication that uh, you're at sort of like the end of the game when even your basic fights are starting to get ridiculous health bars <laughs> yeah I, no I noticed they had a double health bar at least it ain't got like eight little clicks below it yeah <laughs> I think, the the, the, I think the first click is very, very uh, minimal, to be fair, so. 
Yeah, like artificially inflated difficulty. And Dumbo's got like the turning circle of a freaking Arctic lorry. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, to be fair, it's it's a freaking elephant. <laughs> All right. Let's go for... I think this might be the final room before we get to some story. We've finally, like, made it all the way up to the map. Um, so I think we should probably... Uh, I don't think, actually, saying that, I... Clearly, there's going to be at least another five rooms as we sneak our way around here. So, I think... What do we need here? Five or above. Let's just go for... Let's go for a calm bounty. We'll have a cop out here. No enemies. Yeah. yeah, why not? Gotta gotta take a little siesta every now and then. But it's the interesting thing about this game. I mean, yeah. it's I know it's we're on sort of YouTube. We're probably on like episodes twenty five to twenty seven, so it's like stream number nine. But it does feel like a game that you could play at whatever pace you wanted. As in, like you're not. You, oh, it's not even the one oh, oh, That was this point. Um, you can make it as easy or as hard as you want because if you wanted to get through it quicker you could just play cards where you know you don't have enemies and you don't grind and level up and stuff um, so yeah I, I find that quite an, e an interesting mechanic like it's a very much a play your own way kind of thing yeah I, I, I'm a fan of that I, the, the, the games that I have played that do have that sort of the ability to sort of in a sense choose your own adventure sort of yeah like if you're more of the story type then enemies are less and easier they're there but yeah you're not going to have any issues but then if you're more the fps hardcore gamer then yeah you'll do the opposite play it on hardcore mode for the your challenge of it but yeah i like i like the games that have they give you the options makes it uh quite user friendly yeah player friendly Keep getting more and more health bar every time I freaking see one of these dudes as well. Hey, Donald card would be really nice about now. Hi, right, cow. They literally have a target on his ass. <laughs> used to be, I think, the average cause originally hit points. Yeah, I mean, some some games call it hit points, some games call it health points, so um, either or, it's the same sort of thing. Yeah, same difference. Yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure I grew up calling it hit points. 
until later games came in where it was literally, literally hell. Yeah. Like, like if you're picking up health and that sort of thing too. Yeah. Like, like, like in this game, you got your health cards to recover. So it's, I would definitely say it stands for health points in this game. I wasn't attacking that dude, I was attacking this dude. Please, I'm trying to get rid of this guy first. Can you not see what I'm trying to do, game? Of course not. Game is blind. Mingling worlds, that sounds interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Sounds like worlds at a social affair. Just worlds walking around, chatting it up. Maybe even pushing buttons. Oh, I'm very much pushing buttons. Yep. Triangle is my favorite button right now. <laughs> Let's save that Trinity combo because I guess when this guy's died down, he'll uh, do another wave of enemies spawning. Yep, there we go. I will reload our deck and then we will, while everyone's stunned, and then rinse everybody, hopefully. Not quite. Okay. Pizze, pizze. What does that like flower thing make a heart noise when I hit it? That's uh, weird. I don't. Have audio, so yeah, it's over. Yeah. I'll unmute it from when you do story time just so I can actually hear something. Yeah. Besides the uh the jet engine in the background when you talk. Yeah, we need a GoFundMe for a PS a PS5 for me so that I don't have to put up with it anymore. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> At least I know my uh, my microphone's doing a good job of uh, like cancelling out the background noise normally, apart from when I speak. The noise gate's obviously working well. Well, you should be able to add more. Uh, the noise gate suppression, what have you? Cause I like I, I had mine adjusted within OBS and use some use some settings that I found on YouTube and kind of adjusted them to fit me and like my mic and stuff. Yeah. And it it did a really good job. It even when you know speaking, it kind of kept everything cut out. You gotta be careful with it though because if you apply too much then it just um you can lose Run, some of the voice yeah you lose some of what you're saying so yeah it'll start hitting that net mid-range territory for not yeah. careful makes you sound funny yeah i kind of that's where i was kind of tweaking and then i got to that point and i'm like whoops too much there dial it back yeah, no. I think I may have even taken your settings at some point and using them, so... Yeah, I think so. And like... I know like, you, you was doing a lot of experiments with, like, external, um... 
EQs. Uh, thing. Yeah, EQs and stuff, won't you? Yeah, I did have uh, a, a system, like a system EQ that worked, worked for everything, which was nice. Uh, just to uh, amp up the volume. Yeah. Because there's, there's some things that, like, I would have to turn it all the way up 100% and it it was still barely, I guess for a person with good hearing it would have been fine, but I shouldn't have to turn my volume all the way up ever. No. So, yeah, having that and having a built-in, like, amplifier, it was pretty cool. But of course, like when I watch YouTube videos and stuff, the extensions, add-ons I use, uh, cut out all commercials, skips, uh, skip sponsors that are, you know, recorded and the video. Yeah. So normally it just, it auto skips them because, uh, that's, it's a community type add-on where people, uh, uh, mark them as, uh, uh, self-sponsored kind yeah. of thing or this, that, the other, there's different categories and, and he can opt in or opt out of what you want to skip in the settings, which is really cool. So you can watch a, a video straight through without any ads, any, any of the BS stuff. And here I'm, this is my sponsor. I'm shilling this stupid game or just skips right past them. And as long as you're not watching the video, like as soon as it's released, because uh, you gotta, the, the bigger the the bigger the 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 YouTuber, the quicker people are on marking that stuff yeah. when it comes out. So like, yeah, you watch. I mean, I could watch a Mr. Beast video or something ten minutes after it came out, and it'll already be somebody has already done it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's cool. And then it also has a built-in amplifier for YouTube that you can turn on or off. Okay. It, it, it does increase the volume quite a bit uh, and keeps you from having to blast, blast your volume knob. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. How long well, did it... Um... Sorry, Devish. How long did it take you to um, get all the achievements on that, uh, Mr. Fab? Five, ten minutes. Sam. You already didn't use Sam. <laughs> well, if, if, if you get 120 achievements at all exactly the same date and time. <laughs> yeah. All right, seven. Seven or higher. And see that bottomless card. That looks pretty yikes. Go for a random. 19.4 hours. Nearly 19 and a half. Strong initiative. Alright, it's got attack. Uh, Ultra Spank is streaming apparently in my, in my Discord. Now. Yeah, he's in VC games. Uh, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't switch because you kind of can't be in two different voice channels at the same time. <laughs> That's why you need a alias account. Uh, I just and, uh, I, I, log, log in on the web. Need my laptop. Log in on the website. Log in on your uh, PC. Problem solved. Ah, uh, that sounds like effort. <laughs> I don't have any of that right now. Was the uh, Raven Home achievement, uh, Fab? Oh, 
not really familiar with any of the uh, Half-Life achievements. It's just, a, I think, probably a game I went back to. It was just like I played it once and I was actually done with the game rather than going back for a ridiculous amount of time. Mega Eve and Mega Lixer and an item. Okay, that could be good. Yeah, he's he started out in the music channel, then he switched to games. It's over. Let's see, un unread yours. Pick some vids. Who do we have? Oh, uh, the talent is Prince. <laughs> Quite mine or yours? On yours. Yeah, iron, iron spickery. Oh, it's Halloween, isn't it? Okay, of course, everyone goes to their Halloween aliases. Hey, mine's mine's automatically ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's All year round, ready <laughs> for Halloween. Great. Yeah, I'm skipping. Yeah, continuing with the Talos Principle 1 on Twitch. Okay. Uh, this is a Discord. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Discord event. Well, the, the link the link is, but it says on Twitch though. <laughs> Okay, so that's that must be what he's streaming as first Talos. Could be a word if you're streaming in second unless you well, unless he's playing the demo, of course, but Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've decided I'm just not gonna play the demo. Yeah. I downloaded I was... it, but yeah, I'm just kinda like Maybe, maybe not. I'll see. And I'm just kind of like, nah. I'll play. I'll, I don't want to play it twice. You know, when I got to play the re regular game, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, now I got to get enough. through this again. But, yeah. To be fair, uh, Mr. Fab, that does actually sound uh, like a pretty fun achievement. Anywhere where you just got to use the gravity gun, I think, is uh, great fun. Especially if you have the super gravity gun. Yeah. That was just mad fun. I thought it'd be a bit overkill, but I was so satisfied with being able to just suck combine dudes up and throw them at other, other ones and kill them like bullet <laughs> pins. It was so satisfying, I didn't care that it was ever powered. Yeah, it was kind of like a, a reward for it taking all your crap away from you. When you, when you went in, and you're like, son of a bitch, I had, you know, I had everything yeah. built up, and it's like, oh man, it took everything from me, and then whammo, you get that bad boy, and it's like, okay, I feel better now. <laughs> I, mean, I know, it, I know. I think Half-Life 2 came before it, but um, it actually didn't. No, it didn't. It come after. But it reminds me of how um, the original uh, Metal Gear Solid game on the PlayStation. You get so far through that, you've built up your entire inventory, and then you get um, captured, and then it, you're just sort of like back to nothing again. And it's like, God damn it! Yeah, I've never played that. Do you, ever play the, do you ever play the original on the uh, NES? Nah. I heard about it and stuff, but yeah. The, the original's pretty, well, not just the original, but um, any NES game is just ridiculously hard. Yeah, there's, I didn't. There's, I, I didn't. There's, yeah, sorry. There, there's hard, and then there's a thing called NES hard, which is just <laughs> crazy. Yeah, the hardest game I played was the Mega Man series. 
Yeah, I've only played. I've only played the one that I used to have on my Game Boy. I think I used to have one. I'm not played any of the others. I played at the time. I think by the time I finished playing over the course of what was available, and it ended up being, I believe, ten. Right. That, that were out, that had come out by the time I play. I don't know if any more came out after ten, but if so, I haven't played them because it wasn't available at the time. And after ten, I, was, crazy. Uh, I didn't play play anything anymore. I was uh, out and about partying and yeah, yeah, you know, doing other things. I didn't game at all. Went to a whole nother world. Hema didn't game. What sort of a gamer is he? You're all good crazy, don't worry about it. It's been going good. We are um, right here. This is where I've been working towards the door. I'm not convinced it's the final door. But we've made our way to the door, which is a good chunk of the way through floor 13, so... Good progress has been made. Floor 13 on Friday the 13th. I just came up with that all by myself. Really? Yeah. Nobody has said that before. I can't believe it. <laughs> Do I sound convincing at no. all? Really, really convincing? Like Every, everything that everything that comes out of your mouth is 100 <laughs> accurate, believable, and true. Yep, just like uh, everything is true that you read on the internet. Yep, 100 percent. I have never read a fake article on the internet in my life. Yep, good thing that I'm just glad that they have kept bots off the interwebs. Yep. Because boy, would that make things. And I'm so glad uh, that real journalists can do such a, a stellar job on replacing uh, reporting on real-time news that affects me and my area and doesn't um, try and lure me in with false headlines. I'm so glad. Yeah, I uh, know. It's, it's fantastic that journalism has stayed true to the culture of just the facts. Like, you know, like they've always done. They don't, they don't try to put any opinions in the news whatsoever. It's just no. the facts. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. All right, I need a one. Uh, I need a one, a three, and then I need to make 99. Are you for real? How do you make 99? Just put two nines together. Oh no, it has got to be a, hold on. It's got to be a, a blue one. Okay, let's give the. We'll give a save room because I've got enough of those. I need a three red. Now we need to make 99. Let's start with nine cards. Can't use zeros, that would be pretty pointless. Nines. Seventy two. Seventeen more. All right, fifty four. <laughs> Just going to go with eights now. One more. And as as Callie is subtract. I take a okay. six, then we can do we need what six eights? Yeah. Six times eight equals forty eight. Yay! Good job, class. Congratulations, you did math. <laughs> Maths. <laughs> Did you hear the subtles on the end? <laughs> oh, yeah. I know y'all call it mass. All right, I 16. Thought that, I, thought, I thought that was like a slang or just being 
funny kind of thing the first time I heard it, and then, and then I realized that's actually what you call it. Mathematics. Yeah. Maths. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we say mathematics, but yeah, we just say math. All right. I got rid of ninety-nine cards, so hold tight because it's story time. Woohoo! Okay. It's been a while. Luxine paid the price for disloyalty when she disappeared. You must do the same! So fight yourselves, and I don't have to fight you. The organization's betrayed. In that name, I will annihilate you. That line's not you. Well, had to try it once, you know. <laughs> Is that your shield? Won't do you any good, I'm afraid. I wonder. Are you listening, Sora? Oh? Axel says he's willing to harm Naminé to get me. You won't let that happen, will you? Oh, come now. You're Marluxia's puppet already? After I finish you, he's next. Now, Sora, we've got more in common than you might think. I'd really rather not fight you. What? But I can't dishonor the organization, now can I? All right, we're going to get slaughtered here because I haven't got my magic build on. I haven't got no zero cards to cancel his combos. Expect this to go... Terribly. It was going to go terribly. I had no heals. I had the wrong freaking. Um, the wrong deck on. I haven't, like, reviewed my deck. So. Yeah, it was never going to work. Alright, where are we sitting? We've got room to put some more cards into this magic deck here. Um. But about 76 points so we can't add a lot but we can maybe do something uh, yeah, i yeah i going back to your comment there got crazy i can totally agree with that um there was loads of stuff at school where they tell you oh you need you'll you'll use this every day and you'll, you'll lose this every day in your adult life and then you get to your adult life and it's like so when am i going to use this Let me check slides here because we've got some new ones. Holy, holy. Mega Ether, Elixir, and an item card.
going doctress yeah we're um closing on the end of the game so i decided to do a second stream uh this week so yeah hope you're well though good to see you as always can i do that i wonder have i got a tornado i have got a tornado tornado and two fire cards i've got another fire card i do not fantastic Uh, that blows. Um... No, he is not, Doctors. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for hanging, uh, Mr. Fab. Appreciate it. I hope to catch you again soon. Yeah, I actually said said some things and forgot I was muted. <laughs> oh, well, i got to use this card, haven't I? Jeez. Uh, I'm Spectre. doing well as well. Like always, could be better, could be worse. Can't complain, though. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I could, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's not complain. Uh, as long as you feel like it. Oh, there's some big point cards. All right, I'm just going to put in one card here. And I've got a tree. You might have to remind me to... Um, use it death wish oh sorry I, uh, I i missed i caught the end of that which was just my name what what did you say um i'm gonna throw in this card here because it says that it will automatically revive me if oh. i go down oh. but i might need um, you to remind me to use it is what i'm saying okay uh because I need what, to throw what, it out for it to to count to work. So, um, yeah. What what's the code word? Get to the chopper. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Get to I'll the chopper. And he's got quite a few famous quotes for such simplicity. You know, I'll be back. Get, oh, yeah. Get to the chopper. And mainly because of his accent. Have you have you ever seen have you seen the um there's a meme? Um it's like a compilation of him just going in all different films, I'll be back. And then right at the end, it's one of his very early films and it's like uh it looks like he's wearing a toga, so I don't know what the film is. And his voice line is I am tired of the same old praises. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've seen probably a variation of it, but yeah, I don't. I haven't seen that particular one. But I have seen one where it was a it was a little it was a little short compilation. That sounds like it's a better one. But yeah, that's that's pretty funny. Have you seen the um, Have you seen the documentary on Netflix? Uh, of Arnold. Yeah. <sighs> Three, three part yes. documentary. Three part. The first part's about him, um, his early life and his bodybuilding. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I did watch and that. The the second part is his um, is being an actor, and then the third part is about governor. being a governor. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yep, yeah. That was good watch, dude. Dude, he's right, an incredible. Chris. He's an incredible guy. Yeah, I haven't watched. I've I've watched the first two. I just haven't got around to watching the. Um, the governor one but to be fair i'm not as interested in the political side of it but i was very interested in like the bodybuilding and his like acting so uh, yeah i mean don't, don't think of it as it's going to be politics it's not really about the politics so much as uh, as it is about his job 
But yeah, if, okay. uh, if, if he could, yeah, I know you're getting ready to go no, in, but it's uh, fine. It's fine. You're right. Yeah, if, if he could, if, if he, if he was born in America, he'd be one of the few celebrities that I would absolutely get behind for president. Because most of the, most celebrities are just, yeah. All right, so you, you don't belong there. This guy is immune against fire. Excellent. Well, I'm not surprised because that's the first thing he pulled out of his bag the first time he played him. I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention the first time because obviously I um, realized quite early on that I got the completely the wrong build. So. Uh, uh, yeah, I was kind of watching just to see what he was doing. Yeah, the fire. You can see the fire right now, but yeah, he lit up the whole screen with fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why it's going to go terribly then, isn't it? There you go. You're on fire again and again. Don't forget about... Get to the chopper! But you're good, right? You're good right now, dude. You just have to kill him eight times. There's six more. Zoiks. Stop catching on fire. That's not good for you. Mm, I don't know what I can do here. My... Yeah. Throw a nice pack at him. Yeah, Arnold is great. Yeah, it's, just to I mean, see, to, like to watch that like documentary and like see like his drive and what he actually went through to get where he got is just very, very motivational. Yeah, and, and like even when he speaks, I've heard him at colleges and just just in general. Like he was, he's a motivator for sure. Yeah, hundred a hundred percent. Like when he was governor, he's like he knew. You know, like, just like anybody else, one person can't control everything. He's like, he was on Conan talking about it. And he said that was his favorite job ever was being governor. Yeah. And he's like, uh, even though I ran as a Republican, I wanted I wanted it to be bipartisan. So, and I motivated the Democrats and Republicans to work together. And. You know, he, he just went on from there talking about how he just he just tried to motivate everybody to like he, he wanted 120 uh, billion in infrastructure, but he ended up only getting 60. He said, but I'm but it happened. We got things done. Yeah. And if it wasn't for people working together, that wouldn't have happened. So, yeah, I mean, such a a great speaker, really. And, and yeah, his motivation, the way, you know, when he's talking in a motivational way, it's, yeah, it makes you want to go watch Rocky and hear Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you need Arnold in your corner for this fight. All right. Sweet. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to think about how many ice builds can we actually make here. That's the. This is going to be the yikes thing. I think. Well, uh, the tournament has started. Time to boot up the old phone. Oh, I need a charge it in a while. 
Luckily, Wordscapes doesn't burn my battery on my phone too bad. I can play it quite a long time. It doesn't burn your battery, it just burns your screen. No, that my yeah, from my finger. I, I can't believe that's the first time I've my, I've, I've I've ever had a phone. You know, because all the phones I've had for years now, I've had Gorilla Glass, and each version was a better form of Gorilla Glass. But yeah, I literally swipe so much on my phone that you can just, you can see the permanent yeah uh, swipe area, and you can see where I stopped on each individual letter. It's, it's kind of freaky. It's like my oil from my finger is just embedded in the screen. <laughs> That question was aimed at the um, the run here, um, crazy. Uh, we haven't got anywhere else at the minute. So we're just trying to, I've just got to rebuild my deck here because he's um, resist, he's immune to fire. So I've got to, yeah, come up with a new strap for this, unfortunately. You got a water hose? Got Dumbo, I mean Dumbo's water based. Right now I need some zero cards here. My cancelling, so I'll put in three zero cards now. Now I want another set of summons. What does Genie do? Thunder, gravity, and stop. Um, Bambi, I guess. We can get health from Bambi. But we'll bundle Bambi up with another reload card. We got about another. I've got much left, about another 150 to spend. It's getting pretty tight, and I've not even used any elixirs yet. So I need a strong elixir here. I haven't used Lion King Simba yet. Use Tink either. Um All right, let's go Tink with an elixir. I got, what have we got there? Another, hmm. Two layers of zero cards. I'm concerned though that I haven't got any normal healing cards here. Get rid of Dumbo. Let's have a heal in here with Cloud. Oh, now we're two points over. Okay, we'll use the six instead then, and we shouldn't go over. Okay, so let's take stock here of what we've got. We've got um, an ice build. We've got, have two fire cards here with the um, arrow card, which will enable us to cast Holy. Then we've got Dumbo with a Mega Ether, which will reload all our magic cards and reset the reload counter. We've then got Cloud with a heal. We've got Bambi with another reload the magic cards and reset the counter. <coughs> we've got Tink 
paired with a, an elixir, which will reload all our cards. And then we have various other zero cards. Although I'm not happy that I haven't got zero cards accessible at the bottom of the deck. So I'm going to move these here. Yeah, it's def definitely a lot of strategy to... Yeah, this is probably what I didn't get for a start. I was, I think when I first started playing, I didn't fully understand the game. It was just a case of write down, uh, put as many high-powered cards in as I could, and I thought that would win it, but clearly that um, isn't the way to do it. 